Today's a special day. It's Memorial Day. It is not a holiday. Like New Year's Day or Christmas Day or Easter, it's Memorial Day. Originally started to honor Union soldiers who died in the Civil War, it now honors all of the United States service members that have died while serving in the military and participating in hostile actions. To truly honor them is to allow the memories of their service to become part of our memories. If you will allow, I will ask you to join with me as we offer a memorial to them. I reach back to the First World War. For a moment, let your mind recall the images you have seen of soldiers fighting in trenches, advancing against cannon and machine gun fire while wearing masks to protect against killer mustard gas. In spite of terrible conditions, those men stood side by side, overcoming their fears and fought because their nation asked them to. The United States lost 116,516 service members in World War I. They are worth honoring. World War II was a world war and our fought, troops fought and died from the island of Bataan to the shores of Omaha Beach and all points in between. Theirs was a war driven by ideologies that proclaimed a master race in Europe and Asia led by Japan. Both ideals were anti-democratic and the only surprise was what would bring the United States into the war against fascists. Fighting on land, sea, and in the air, they were defeated. Some of us have parents and grandparents that fought in that war. World War II cost 405,399 members' lives. They are worth honoring. The Korean War, the forgotten war, was not forgotten by our servicemen. Many of those that had seen the end of World War II were suddenly involved in the first hot war of the Cold War. They fought at Bloody Ridge, Chosen Reservoir, and the landings at Inchon, and their sacrifices remind us of the ferocity of war. The United States lost 36,516 lives in the Korean War. They are worth honoring. The Vietnam War was, until recently, the United States' longest war. An outgrowth of the domino theory, the United States felt it had to stop the spread of communism in Southeast Asia. The political and economic reasons for that war are still being debated today. There is no doubt that war called upon our citizens to uphold political decisions that few completely understood. Yet, they answered the call. Many of these standing here beside me answered that call. Some willingly, others reluctantly, but the call was answered. The Vietnam War was fought in a limited but diverse geographical area. <laughs> Veterans of that war will talk about the chilly mornings in the hills of the highlands, or the smell of the rice paddies in the lowlands, and the long endless road of rubber plantations or the rivers everywhere. Some will speak of Cambodia, Thailand, Laos, and others speak of seldom acknowledged areas of operation. The United States lost 58,282 service members in that war, and that count continues today. They are worth honoring. September 11, 2001, began a new chapter in the history of the U.S. military involvements, which are now called operations. These names ring in the minds and hearts of many here today. Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation New Dawn, Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation Inherent Resolve, Operation Freedom Sentinel, our sailors, airmen, Marines, soldiers, and Coast Guardsmen have served from the deserts of Saudi Arabia and Iraq to the mountains of Afghanistan. They served in the Arabian Sea, the Red Sea, the Gulf of Aden, the Persian Gulf, the Gulf of Oman, Bahrain, Kuwait, Oman, Qatar, and the United Arab Emirates. The list is so extensive it cannot be fully recited. 
yet they served. They fought speeding boats loaded with explosives and roads planted with mines. They have carried hope to a population oppressed by dictators and leaders that would keep them poor and uneducated forever. They have volunteered to carry out the political goals of our country. Some here today served in those operations, and they've come to honor their fellow servicemen and women. Those operations have cost our country the lives of 6,080 service members since 2003. They are worth honoring. Sometimes numbers serve to numb our memory. So to properly honor our fallen, please take a moment to think of their parents, their siblings, their husband or wife, their children, their schools, their friends, their community. They serve their nation to protect all of us from those that would do us or our community harm. They are worth honoring. In closing them, I'd like to honor them by repeating a special quote. We don't know them all, but we owe them all. Present arms. Before we begin our closing prayer given by Brother Jay Jimenez, I'd like to uh, tell a tradition our post has that we will invite you to participate in. For those that have served with us, uh, we call them out because of the firm belief that as long as we call their names, they remain with us. So when we start calling names out, feel free to do so. And that will happen after the prayer. Brother Jay. Uncover. Uncover. Heavenly Father, we are indeed grateful, Father, for the opportunity we've had today on this solemn occasion, Father, at the closing ceremonies of this Memorial Day, that we keep the thought and the memory of our fallen comrades in our hearts and in our minds, always remembering that they served honor and they gave their all please again we beseech the father to bless and succor those families that are missing their son or daughter bless us as a nation and as citizens that will always be mindful of the sacrifice presented by our fallen and that we may be always grateful and turn to thee for direction and guidance and we ask the Father that bless post 9305 with thy spirit, that we may understand the meaning of service and of giving and selfless love to community and our nation. We, we beg of thee these things, and in the name of the holy name of thy Son, even Jesus Christ, amen. 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 Cover. Valentin Kern. Ron Sager. Paul Jimenez. James Bickery, Tomas Cruz, George Tapoya, Cody Rios, Richard Borg, Lalo Camarena, Ignacio Cruz, Eric Kidwell, Sam Romero, Robert 
James Goggins. Steve Escalier. Roy Armenta. George Argosa. Johnny Scoggins. Frank Gutierrez. Lord, we ask that you hear all these names called and all that were not called. Please hold them in their heart and watch over us. Amen. 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 Amen.